We are back and we continue our challenge in climbing the English football ladder from tier 10 right through to the Premier League. This one almost didn't happen. Been late to games before, but the fact that we're not going to get there until just after half time, it's, it's just not. No point in going, so we'll sit in this for how long? An hour. But we persevered and ended up at Red Hill FC as we look for another win to get us up to the eighth tier. What we will do if the ref can find his bloody whistle. On the road, yep, yeah, back again. Welcome to the series that captures all of the action, but none of the goals. It was beautifully put in the comments section and very, very true indeed. Last week, in case you missed it, we started a challenge and we started in the 10th tier of English football at Bridport FC. If you didn't check it out, go and have a look. Make sure you drop a like while you're over there as well. It does me a huge favour. But as you're here, you might as well stick around for this one, right? Today's action is at nine Red Hill FC. We we'll have to say our proper role. They currently find themselves in the combined counties. Premier Division South, occupying 7th place whilst their opponents today, Camberley Town, they're in 13th. Now the ground is known as Kiln Brown, which has a capacity of 2,000, 100 of which are seated, but absolutely 100%, I can confirm, not heated. Just queuing up for the QA2, and I always wonder on my journeys, like, what's everyone else doing? Where's everyone else going? Well, Simon in front, he's on his way home, he's just picked up the cat food. It's the Tesco brand stuff, also got cat litter. I think both of those purchases go hand in hand, really, don't they? Before I head over the QE2, I realise that my petrol is very low, so I need to fill up. Introducing Thurrock Services, I don't think I've actually been here on and on the road before. It's so close, we end up going way beyond it. As I say, petrol low, needs must, run to Londies. Where I'm joined by my guest for today, it's my daughter. Can you keep the audience entertained please while I fill up some petrol? <laughs> Just tell them about your day, Des, what's been going on and that? No. Okay. Happy and you know it, clap your hands. Let's go. And I've just spent £97.18 on petrol. So basically, I need to make 100 quid on this video to make it worth it. Can you drop a like, please? It'll do me a massive favour. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so next leg of the journey is the QE2, and I've got to pay £2.50 to get over it. Note to self, clean your windscreen, Smith, and also check the traffic on the way back, because this is unacceptable. Maybe go around the M25 the other way. Because I could imagine sitting in this car for too long with my daughter, who just is just very impatient. Are we there yet? No, nope, not yet. How long is it going to be? About an hour. Oh, that's ages. Maybe have a nap. No, I don't want a nap. I want a snack. Okay, I've got some twiglets. I don't want Twiglets. I got a fruit bar. I don't want a fruit bar. Well, what do you want then? Ice cream. I haven't got ice cream, and if I did, it'd be melted. How long is it going to be? About 59 minutes. Oh, that's ages. And basically, repeat. This is what I have to go through as a parent. And for all those out there that say I wouldn't change it for the world, shut up. You would absolutely change it for the better. But trust me, one day you'll miss that. One day I won't have a headache. There's only so much one man can do as he goes around the M25 at 70 mile an hour. While his daughter refuses anything that's offered to her, even though she gave it the thumbs up when mum packed the bag. I want an apple. Actually, I've got an apple. I want it cut up. I can't do that. I don't like the skin. Grow up. What, you five years old now? It is time to live life. Life and eating the skin off an apple is certainly the start of it. Anyway, note to self, drive around the M25 the other way. Currently listening to Frozen on repeat. Also sounds like there's a cat in the back. I could really do with some of Simon's dry cat food right now. I could also do with things hurrying up a bit. 30 minutes of traffic, we are now cutting it fine. Lads, ladies, things are getting worse. Looks like we're gonna miss the start of this game. I don't know what's going on, but there's helicopters in the sky. I think we might have to cancel this. What's going on? You don't see the red team. We've been late to games before, but the fact that we're not going to get there until just after half time, it's, it's just not. No point in going, so we'll sit in this for how long? An hour? Um, five minutes. Five minutes, yeah, I'd like five minutes, but it's not going to happen. How about 20 minutes? 20 minutes to do, I'll take that. I'll take that. But unfortunately, um, yeah, this one is cancelled. No, I wouldn't do that. Gutted.com forward slash on the road. What? It just started raining. But hang on a second, out of nowhere. Look, 13 minutes of traffic. We'll miss five minutes of the game. I'll take that. Let's do this. Shove your stranded vehicle up your ass. We're going to Red Hill FC, home of the lobsters. It's all looking great. All looking rosy. As we enter Godstone. The timer has actually just flown back up, so we're going to miss 20 minutes now. Jesus. But we're going. We're going to do this. It's beautiful. Isn't it just? Here's my thoughts on people to stop without very little warning. Dickhead. We then drive through more natural beauty that's carved open by a concrete path. These windy roads that go up and down are making me nervous because if she's sick in the back, we, we don't really have a change of clothes. We then venture out of said windy roads as Shirley gets a Tesco delivery. A couple of short dates on the order so they'll refund them for her. That's great. Well, I'm not sure she's going to be out for the salmon fillets that got substituted for a 12 pack of toilet roll. I'd probably take it. Is it the Andrex quit with stuff? With coconut scent too? Yeah, no brainer for me. It's a deal. It's a steal. It's a sale of the century. According to Satis Navius, we are very close as we approach this free arch bridge. It's up there with the finest piece of civil engineering. If you ask me. A quick Roger sees us enter Red Hill Football and Social Club entrance. Plenty of cars on show, that's a good sign. But the update on Twitter, not a good sign. Already 1 0 down. If it ends like this, we'll be relegated to the 10th tier of English football. So it's, it's 1 0 to the away team. We still don't know what colour they play in, but we're there to cheer on the red team, aren't we? Yeah. Let's go. Go, My go, go. Favorite. Your favourite team is the red team, okay, cool. On a 
foot yet back again. In true on the road video, I'm here to remind you that you've been watching this video for five minutes now and you haven't seen a football being kicked yet. Drop a comment below and let me know if you watched the first five minutes. Welcome to Kuhn Blue. I think it's a name that will blend into Scotland perfectly. As I head to check the prices. <laughs> It's now one all. We've just missed a goal. It's nine pound to get in. Little one's free. Give me that click, click, clickage. You. Hello. Say hello. Thank you. So we've made it to non-league football. Spotted a T-shirt. What's the girl gonna have? Mia, what do you want to eat? Ice cream. I don't think they got ice cream. Do you want a burger? No, no burger. I hate burgers. Well, that's a lie. She does like burgers. Maybe I've got a drum that's just not doing it for me. since taking my phone, getting a grubby mitts all over it. And on the field, we've got an over it corner. This is what you pay for, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you pay for. At the tea shack, I'm devastated to see that there's actually no burgers. Not even a cheese and ham panini. The best they've got is sausage rolls and savoury slices. But they ain't doing them today, so it's mini cheddars. A lousy one pound spent. Give us a good news. Oh, hey. Where you going? The Lobsters, 34th minute. is the second goal. Red Hill scored by number 17, Tom Harlan Goddard. Red Hill 2, Camberley Town 1. And so just like that, we kick off, and then... How about smoothies? No smoothies. No ice cream. Sorry. Worst game ever, eh? So I'm about to get a drink, see what else is on the menu as well. And all of a sudden, I missed a third goal for Red Hill. Score by number 21, Ben Dyson. What well up, Ben, and what well up, Mia, for draining my battery? It's what we pay for. Half time. Red Hill 3, Camberley Town 1. Red Hill's goal is coming from... Alan Fraser, Tom Harlan Goddard, and Ben Dyson. We've got flags on the halfway line, people. It's a rare occasion. Are they needed? Probably not. But when you've been going over 125 years, you've got to flaunt it. In there, someone's getting a rollicking. And then we arrive at a proper corner flag on the corner. Not girthy at all. Chipolata at best. Around the back of the goal, we've got bungee cords keeping everything tight. And when balls go blazing over the bar into the woods behind, here is the route you need to take. No improvement on flag girth around here, but I must say, consistent. Getting round to the home and away benches now. You get a real insight into what's going on in non-league. It's not glamorous. Empty bottles and team tape. This is also a common thing down at non-league, which should suggest any goals that I've missed today, you may or may not be able to see on a Red Hill YouTube channel. I don't know. On we go, me leading the way. And does this class as a pile of crap? Because every non-league round has a of crap. We'll need some confirmation in the comments below, but this is a garden gate. A garden gate of the football. We eventually get around the other side, but we're going to be sitting in the stand. You don't stand in the stand, you sit in the stand. And just in time as well, as Red Hill and the Red make their way out, and I decided to upload my photo of the football to football onto Instagram. You can check me out on there. Thomas, the fans are right. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. Just call the game as you see it. And this, this, what's this for? Oh, that's your notepad. Just write down any subs, cards, and whatnot. All right, thanks. So we are about to kick off for this second half. Out of way, Derek. We are 45 minutes away from finding out if we can get promoted to the eighth tier of the English football ladder. Ref should be about to get things going, but he hasn't got. A whistle. Ah, oh, sorry lads. Forgot me whistle images. Turn these watches off here. Yeah. I do know where it is though, because I always pick it off at half time and then I put it on my bag. Problem is on this occasion, I didn't pick it up. I brought it back, alright? It's definitely not in my pocket, is it? And so we wait. Not long after he returns with whistle in hand. So we're away in the second half and my prediction is that is... Bob rule. But the biggest question on Facebook right now is, do you want to build a snowman? Or ride our back around the halls? I think some company is overdue. I've started talking to the pictures on the walls. Hang in there, Joan. Four individuals with two very different conversations. On the left, it's very much about players rolling around on the floor. Back in my day, your eye could be popping out your socket and we'd have carried on. Yes, yes. And on the right, not much conversation. Small talk at best. That sun's very bright, isn't it? Yeah. Glad I brought these shades. Yeah, me too. Now, after getting a rollicking at halftime, Campbell have come out and they are trying to get back into this game, but shots like that, not going to trouble the keeper. But Red Hill are dangerous. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Maureen was right. It is very sunny. Can Linos wear hats? I've not seen it before. Outstanding. Sensational. I mentioned before Campbell were trying to get into this, but they're just not really effective up top at all. Maybe a couple of changes via a digital subs board would help. Look at that. Tier 9 of the English Football League. We're seeing this. One absolute treat. Is this handball? <laughs> Nope. Over on Instagram, I was dared to put cheese and panini into the video. Already done it, mate. Already done it. This game needs another goal. Well, there you go. 4 1, and the Ultras come alive. On that note, Callum's had enough. So has Phil. He's had enough. We've lost one of this lot and all. I have no idea what's going on down there. Yeah, let's just call this one quits. Ref's going to blow the whistle any minute now. I'd like to be zoomed out for a full time whistle shot. He's taking his sweet ass time. That'll do. <laughs> Yeah! 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 Yeah!
And so just like that, we're done in this one. Mia's ready to roll too. But before we go, should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. And we're going to start off, as usual, with atmosphere. That is a door now, really, wasn't it? Had a few singers and a drum down the end. But we can't go any higher than one and a half stars, can we? Next up, we're talking facilities. Yeah, it was all right, to be fair. No thrills, I'd say. Nothing stood out to me. It just very much did the job, didn't it? Obviously, we rate this relatively to the level it's out. I'm going to go three and a half stars. Next up, unfortunately, we've got to talk about the food and drink or the lack of. Sausage rolls saved the day last week. None of that this week. Mini cheddars are one of my favorite baked goods, but unfortunately, I've come for hot food and there was nothing there. So I can't do it, guys. I can't rate it. It's going to be zero. That's hurting. But finally, we're talking cost and it wasn't bad at all, was it? Non league prices. Nine pounds to get in, a pound for mini cheddars. I spent a tenner all day. Mia was completely free. Yep, we're gonna give him five stars. Congratulations, Red Hill. And that puts them on a total of ten stars, which is bang in the middle. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Of course, on the back of that 4-1 win, we get promoted to the eighth tier of English football. Let me know where you think we should be going next. But for now, we say goodbye to Red Hill. Red Hill everywhere we go. We big up the on-site defibrillator and we get the hell out of here. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on that. What do you think? Boring. Brilliant. They can't all be classics. So what we do is make our way through the beauty that is the Free Arch Bridge and say thank you for watching. As always, thanks for your support. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and be sure to check out the On The Road playlist which features over 100 different grounds we've gone to. Have a binge and I will see you in the next one.